Bikenning Park and Athenry right for the first round of the Senior Hurling Championship. Uh, just before we start, we're going to have a minute's silence here in honour of a few great Gales who have passed away, I am led to believe. Um, maybe that's not happening. So, Perfie's uh, going to throw it in. Um, just to go through the team very quickly. The Canberra team, Colm Canlon, Colm Larcy, Shane Byrne, Keenan O'Rourke, Shane Cabinet, Adam Leach, James Conan Rogers, middle of the field, Lyle Birmingham, James O'Hara, half hour line, David Brooke, Tom O'Donnell, Jake Coleman, Aidan Moylan, Conor Whelan, tying the balls from the game is on. And the centre of all has it. And the, the ball is a bit of a shaman's around the middle of the field. And here we have it is uh, no one quite has it yet. But coming away with there is uh, the midfield. The midfielder for Ballandurine is uh, Shane Larkin. Shane Larkin is the ball taken away from him. Taken by Shane Cabot. The ball is thrown as far as midfielder. Midfielder James O'Hara plays the ball in towards the uh, corner of our position. Where the man has a Connor Whelan. Connor checks back inside off his left hand side. Connor has a look off his left hand side. High from Connor Whelan and straight and true and over the bar from Connor Whelan. Great score from the ball there, Hurley. An early score for Kinvara here and Kinvara lead one score to nil. The puck out from Michael Kelly. Michael looking at his options. Off the right hand side, left hand on top, drives it down towards the half hour line here. Looking for his clubmate. His clubmate Kieran Ryan, the ball breaks off it. And a deemed a foul there by Kieran Ryan and Shane Cavan's gonna win the free. Shane, the former inter-county hurler. Playing his trade now in the half back line for his beloved Kinvara. Outcoming here is the uh, Kinvara custodian, Cullum Canlan, former All-Star, former Ireland winner. Vastly experienced, of course, Kinvara. They come up in last year's championship, a last minute goal here. Strangely enough, a long delivery from Canlon and all the way to an effort against Kilkenner. And here we have Cullum Canlon. Cullum, rest assured, he bends, he lifts, and he strikes a good high one in towards the goal, all the way in towards the goal, heading towards the right, the danger zone, right under the D, but deemed a push, a push in the back there, deemed a, and a free out, a free out again to Ballandarine. So very quickly we go as far as the Ballandarine team. We have Michael Kelly in goal, a full back line of Brendan Burke, Sean Collins and Jack Tully, a half back line. Kieran Meehan, Robbie Lane, Packy Lane. Middle of the field, Roy Lane and Shane Larkin. A half hour line of Shane Meehan, David O'Connor and Kieran Ryan. And inside, Luke Pendergast. As Michael Kelly drives that free, down again towards Shane Cameron. Shane Cameron goes to bat. He just about hits it. The ball breaks down the field. And there's going to be a bat here in position. They're heading for the sideline here. There's three people here. We have Roy Lane. Roy Lane is batting. So is Shane Cameron. Cameron picks it up. Cameron, very experienced, fast experience. Checks the left and drives a short down the line here. We have the way that forward, the way that forward is, J, is, uh, is uh, Jay Coleman, Jay Coleman, tackle, tackle by the fullback, the fullback is Sean Collins, uh, Sean Collins, and the ball breaks to uh, that midfield, Roy Lane, Roy Lane, and Roy Lane is deemed to uh, overcarry that ball, Roy Lane, uh, so it's a free year again into Kinvara, the early stage of this fairly hot and heavy, um, good position there won by Shane Kavner, and the ball breaks out, and out comes County Maestro, we call him, Connor Whelan, coming all the way out here, just inside, the Ballandorian 65 metre line. A man we look forward to seeing in the Galway jersey, please God, later on in the year. So, one point to no score. Kinvara lead. And Connor Whelan steps over this ball. Conditions rather greasy. As Connor lifts, he bends and he strikes all the way, straight and true, but off the left and gone wide. That's Kinvara's first wide of the day. So, Back to the scoreboard again, we have a score of Kinvara point. Ballandari no score and the goal is Michael Kelly. Michael Kelly looks for his options. This time he goes straight down the middle, long route one, all the way in towards the, the uh, danger area. Looking inside there is Luke Prendergast. Tries to get out of it, Doc O'Connor goes out. The ball breaks away, this is Shamazel. There's two and three looking for Luke has it, Doc has it, Doc has it, off the right. He's half back down, the ball breaks inside. As far as that man, that man is the, the left corner forward high, Kevin Lane and Kevin Lane drives it in and high and over the bar. That's a good score from Kevin Lane, Kevin's first today. It's a, it's a club synonymous with Lane's, and Kevin gl gladly obliges there with a good score. Level pegging, a point apiece, Colin Canlon drives the ball, down to that man again. The centre forward, centre forward is uh, Tom O'Donovan, Tom, Tom was captain last year, looks for an option, he finds a man outside in the midfield, the midfielder is uh, Niall Burlingham, Burlingham hits a pass to his comrade, his comrade is Jack O'Hara, O'Hara hits a short one in towards Conor Whelan, Conor Whelan goes for the ball breaks inside, there's at the bottom for position, Whelan goes again, but the ball brings out to midfielder, midfielder is, uh, is uh, Shane Larkin, Shane Larkin goes for and drives off his left hand side, down towards the corner, down towards the corner, who's out in front, out in front is last year's county minor, Luke Pendergast, off he goes in a solo one, he jinks one way, he strikes off his left, high and over the bar, yes indeed, a great score from Luke Pendergast his first today a man who featured in last year's goal minor hurling victorious winning panel an impressive hurler Ballandorian lead 4 minutes 12 seconds on the clock Colin Cannon looking again he drives a low trajectory again out towards the right half forward position batted away there down to that man again Pendergast he's on fire Pendergast looks for his options in midfield is Shane Larkin Larkin in high and Shane Larkin drives it higher over the bar a brilliant score from Shane Larkin Ballandorian 3 Canberra 1 Ballandorian up the ante 
Here we go with Colin Callan once again. Looks at his options. Drives that ball again. Down the same direction. Who's out in front? The left half back is Packy Lane. And Packy Lane sends it back in towards the danger area. Centre back, Alan Leach. Alan Leach scores for Manor played for goal in the pass. Alan Leach is tackled. Tackled by Doc O'Connor. And Alan Leach wins the free. Kinvara yet to score since that first minute point. Looking for another score. Alan Leach looks for his options. He picks, he bends, and he strikes as long as he can. In towards the goal. Rising high there is the uh, the kit dog. Left hand on top is the right half back. The right half back is Kieran Meehan. Out towards Kieran Ryan, the man who featured in NUIG back in 2015. Plays a lovely low ball. Dogs the corner. Kevin Lane out in front. Misses the control. Beaten again. Beaten by Colin Morrissey. Morrissey comes out. Gives the hand pass to Shane Kavner. And Shane Kavner drives the ball way, way down the pitch. In towards the goal. Danger area again. Will Ballandarian deal with The ball breaks out. It's in the air of the house. Who has it? The has it is the corner back. The corner back from Ballandurian comes out, gives a hand pass off again to the right half back. The right half back is uh, Kieran Meehan, and Meehan drops it down. But who's here again? But the midfielder, James O'Hara. O'Hara finds his comrade out the far side. The right half back, the right half back is uh, the left half back is James Cronin Rogers. Lovely ball as far as central forward do. Uh, Tom O'Donovan in around the house, but gone off to the right and gone wide. So last year's captain puts the ball to the right. That's two wides, I make it for Kinvara. In this first half, we have 5 minutes, 40, 50 seconds played. And the puck out is to Michael Kelly. Michael Kelly plays the ball way, way down the pitch. In towards the corner here. That danger man, Kevin Lane. Kevin Lane looks good. But Shane Kavanagh again, vastly experienced. Comes out. He's a little touch, a little pass. Off to right half forward. Right half forward is David, uh, Jay Coleman. Jay Coleman in towards that danger man, Conor Whelan. He's been fouled. The Rouge won the goal into the danger man, Conor Whelan. He was fouled in a free into Convara. They look to register their second point. Quite a good game. Very competitive. Lots of good possession, lots of good tackling, and here we have Conor Whelan. He stands over the free. We have 6 minutes, 25 seconds on the clock. And Conor Whelan. Composure personified, bends, lifts and strikes it high and over the bar. Whelan scores from Conor Whelan. We're back to a one point ball again, 3 points for 2. 6 minutes, 39 seconds on the clock. And we have Michael Kelly. Michael Kelly, will he go on route one? He certainly does. Drives it as long as he can. Down towards the left half forward position. In around the house. Doc goes for Kevin Lane goes. The ball breaks inside. Tony Ballandrian runs onto it. Do we have a Ballandrian man? And that burn down is Sean Meehan. Sean Meehan finds Kevin Lane. Kevin Lane breaks inside. He scored a point already. Kevin Lane drives him towards the goal, but gone off to left and gone wide. Kevin Lane had his chance there, but just didn't avail of it. One point ball again. Three points for two. Seven minutes, six on the clock. Colin Canlon, former All Star. Kinvara Custodian looks for a short puck out and he gets it. The man who's given the option is the number six. The number six is Alan Leach, the county man from yonder. Plays the ball in towards the uh, corner forward. The corner forward is uh, Aidan Mylan. Aidan Mylan, only introduced uh, as recently as today. Plays a hand pass back to Leach. Leach controls, half back down, ball played inside, but controlled again. And coming out strong is, uh, is uh, the Shane, Shane Larkin, all the way in towards the goal. But again, another wide for uh, Ballandereen. We're back to a Colin Canlan puck out. Back showing for the short puck out. He may go long. He likes to go short. He plays the fellow to his left. And that's James Cronin Rogers. Rogers drives the ball down the field. Down towards uh, this the uh, kick dog, a left hand on top. That man is uh, Sean Collins. The ball breaks inside, but going inside again is Shane Larkin. Ball goes to ground. Who has it? That man is uh, is James O'Hara. O'Hara gives a hand pass. Blocked away. Good defending by Ballandarine. It's a 50-50 ball, but Whelan has it again. The maestro, the genius off his left. But goes off and goes off to right and wide. Great pressure from Ballandarine to be fair. Very good tackling to put Conor Wheaton off his game. Back to Michael Kelly. Michael in the goal for Ballandarine. He goes again. He goes down the left hand side, all the way down to the left half forward position, and coming towards the path of Kevin Lane. Kevin ball breaks inside the fullback. The fullback is uh, Shane Byrne. Shane Byrne fails to control, but he gets it again. Shane Byrne comes out, takes a tackle, and Shane Byrne off his right hand side will send a, a ball down the right hand side, down to uh, centre forward. He fails to control. Tom O'Donovan, last year's captain, and it's a Ballandery inside line cut. We have eight minutes, forty-two seconds on the clock. It's three points to two. It's a very very even game. Of course, a clash of the local clubs. Kinvara up from senior as recent as last year. Ballandarian two years up. So the left, uh, the Packy Lane plays that sideline cut in towards the ball. The ball breaks inside. Danger here, danger here. But dealt with by the fullback. The fullback is uh, Shane Byrne. It's been in around the house. So who has it? It's flicked away beautifully. And that man again, Shane Kavner. Shane Kavner. It goes down over, picks it, ball breaks away, but it taken away from Luke Prendergast, the minor from last year. Luke, lovely dainty skill, plays inside the cover, drops the shoulder, and likes to go inside again. Lovely skill from Luke Prendergast, lovely little flick. Chance for Ballandarine, Doc fits control the shot, the goal! The goal from Luke Prendergast! What a bit of genius! Came in along the end line, a couple of flicks, played a 1-2, got the return pass, and buried it. 
a big score for Ballandurine, 1 3 to 2 points. 9 minutes 33 seconds on the clock. Great bit of skill there. Ballandurine by 4. Puck out to Cullum Callan, the All Star. Cullum drives the ball down towards the right half forward position, in around the house, but taken back there by the uh, the uh, centre back on towards the middle of the field. Shane Larkin, Shane Larkin plays a lovely cross field ball to uh, uh, that man, uh, the Royal Lane. Has a go from way out the field and drops it over the bar. Another brilliant score. Ballandino are on a roll. 1 4 to 2 points to lead, a 5 point ball game, 10 minutes on the clock. Callum goes again, this time he goes to the near side. And again, a 50 50 ball. Whelan comes a bit deeper for this ball. The ball breaks inside. Who has it again? But Royal Lane. Royal Lane plays a lovely smart ball down the line here. Down towards uh, uh, Kevin Lane. Kevin Lane tackled there by the fullback. The fullback is uh, Shane Byrne. The ball between the two of them. Who has it again? Lane has it again. Kevin Lane. Nice little off the left. Blocked down again. Very good defence there by Kinvara. They really are very good in defence there. The ball breaks around that. Kicked out here. Kicked out to Pendergast the minor. He fails to control it. But the ball has it again. O'Hara goes for it. And so does Shane Kevin. But that man has it. Kieran Ryan. Kieran Ryan off the left, right hand side. And that has got in over the bar. A brilliant score again for Kieran Ryan. Six points to good. Ballandurian. Good score there from Kieran Ryan. Wearing the 12 but playing at the 10 position as Colin Cannon looks for again. Colin looks to play it short but he'll go along. He'll go down the down the left hand side again under the stand here in Kenny Park and Athenoy the ball breaks inside onto his left half forward left half forward is, is uh, David Brock David Brock looks for a cross field ball he plays O'Hara O'Hara in the middle plays the ball down the line that ball is playing down to uh, Aidan Moylan uh, Moylan looks for an option he's blocked he's blocked he, he hits it again the ball breaks inside and we have a chance here a chance for James O'Hara and James O'Hara plays a delicate shot in towards the goal a dangerous shot Wheeler goes for controls it pulls and blocks ball around the house there there's three and four and five it's a shot it's a goal it's a goal it looked as if David O'Connor or Tom O'Donnell should say followed in there for Kinvara. As Shamasa broke in and O'Donovan last year's captain seemed to make the last connection from what I can see. So we're right back in at Kinvara. 1-5 Bellandari, 1-2 Kinvara. Important score there for Kinvara to bring them back into. We have a three-point ball game in Kenny Park and Athen Roy as Kelly goes a bit lower this time. He plays it down here towards the right-hand side, going all the way towards the sideline. The number 10, Sean Meehan gets it. Sean breaks his head to cover. Sean goes and solo. Dean Brown over the line by the Lions man. Very hard look there on Sean Meehan. The right idea, he played the line, but the linesman deems him to have over the line. So, we reset and we go again. And we have a sideline quote here. Sideline quote is to uh, that man, Shane Kavner, man who wore the goal with Jersey for many's the time. Captain Galway to a National League a couple of years back. One of the great stalwarts, a great Canberra club man. He looks for a short option. He might go short. He go across the field. He plays O'Hara in the middle. O'Hara the kid dog. Back to Kavner. Kavner looks. Little dodge inside. Kavner checks back inside. Off his right. He's hooked. Brilliant hook there by Roy Lane. Roy Lane. Off to uh, Sean Meehan. Sean Meehan looks for the free. Sean Meehan. Advantage play. The ball is played off to Shane Larkin. Shane Larkin off his left hand side. Plays the ball in towards the goal. In towards the danger man. Niall Cohn. Niall Cohn has got it. In position. Niall Cohn. Niall Cohn off his right hand side. The shot from Niall Cohn. In high. And Niall Cohn puts it in over the bar. A brilliant score from Niall Cohn. Important score for Ballandurian, they're back to a four point ball game after that great goal from Kinvara. We go again with a puck out, Colum Cannon, Colum Cannon, the dock is interdicted, here goes the dock, Dave O'Connor, Dave O'Connor, a great man to tell him, takes a roughly challenge, but he's deemed to have been charging. The referee has said he has overplayed the ball and deemed to have been charging, we have a bit of a scuffle afterwards, but look, the play goes back to where it is, and we're going to have a Kinvara free out. Good possession there from Doc O'Connor, but deemed to have charged. So a little break in the play, 1-6 to 1-2, 13 minutes, 21 seconds on the clock. Weather has dried up a good bit, we had a, a bit of a shower before the game, but the pitch is in immaculate condition here. We have a bit of treatment here to Shane Kavna, so we'll have a small break in the play. Very peculiar times here with the COVID-19, physio coming in here with a, a mask on her face, but a paltry crowd of 200 people in total, but still, the honesty is good and the effort is brilliant. And that's what clubs like to see. It's great to have the GA back in earnest. So, we have a free from Colum Canlon. Colum will look to drop this as close as he can into the square. He'll go route one. He bends, he lifts, and he strikes. He drives that ball as hard as he can in towards the goal. In around the house there. Danger ball. Whelan puts up his hand, fails to control. Ball breaks inside. And the fullback has it. The fullback is challenged. The fullback is uh, Sean Collins. He's challenged even unfairly. Out comes Michael Kelly off his line. And we will have a free. A free to Ballandurian, which the goalie will take. Michael Kelly. Michael Kelly. I want to go back. We may have a card here for the a warning there for the Canberra Centre for Tom O'Donovan. So we've a free to Michael Kelly. Michael left hand on top. 
takes a step back. He bends, he lifts, and he strikes, and he drives the ball. Down towards the left-hand side there. <coughs> taken away there by the right half-back. The right half-back is uh, James Conan Rogers. Rogers finds uh, the middle of field O'Hara. O'Hara plays it inside. In towards the full back line. Rising high is that man, Conor Whelan. Brilliant catch from Conor Whelan. Whelan off his right-hand side. To the left and gone wide. Conor Whelan. Good effort from Conor Whelan. Marginally wide. Ballandrine puck out. Kelly looks to find an option. Kelly will drive it down to the right. Under the stand here. Straight down. All the way down here. Towards Prendergast, the minor from last year. Prendergast, the ball breaks inside and Shane Kavner. Shane is challenged, but he managed his flicking it there. O'Hara, the midfielder. Uh, James O'Hara gives an option. Drives the ball down the line here. But who's in there? But they, they are full back and the, and the full back is, uh, is uh, Sean Collins. Down the line here. Now the line gone wide. So, we have a Canberra sideline ball. 1 6 to 1 2. Ballandarian by 4. 15 minutes 25 seconds on the clock. And Shane Kavner will place this ball. Look at his options. Kinvara playing in towards the town goal, as we call it, Nathan Rye. And Ballandarian playing towards the far end, the scoreboard goal, we call it. Here goes Shane Kavner. Looks for his options. He bends and he strikes. A nice ball across the pitch there. Who's going to get it? The man's going to get it. Is the left half forward? Uh, left half forward, Jay Coleman. Jay Coleman finds the wing back. The wing back is uh, James Conor Rogers. In towards Conor Whelan. Conor Whelan's got it. Conor Whelan looks for an effort. Conor plays a smart ball. A lovely smart ball across to us. The colleague, the number 12, number 12 for Convera. The shot hit and gone to the left hand. Gone wide. David Burke. A guilty edge chance from David Burke. He had a chance. Went off to the left and went wide. Another wide registered for Convera. So we wait for the puck out. Michael Kelly. <laughs> Seem to have the both teams actually have taken what we call this this break. So it's a water break in the new GA term. So I think we'll we'll we shall break and we will we will come back. Just to run through the, the action so far, we had 16 minutes odd played in the clock. Uh, Ballandurian are leading ahead by 1-6 to 1-2. Fairly even Stephen game to be fair. Um, we look forward to coming back to you in a couple of minutes just to go through the teams again very quickly with you. So we start with the Ballandorian team. Michael Kelly in goal, full back line, Brendan Burke, Sean Collins, Jack Tully. Half back line, Kieran Meehan, Robbie Lane and Pecky Lane. Middle of the field, Roy Lane and Shane Larkin. Half forward line, Shane, Sean Meehan, David Duck O'Connor and Kieran Ryan. And the inside line is Luke Pendergast, Niall Cohen and Kevin Lane. For Kinvara, custodian, Colm Canlon, the full back line of Conan Laracy, Shane Byrne, Keelan O'Rourke and the half back line, Shane Kavna, Alan Leach James Cullen Rogers, middle of the field Niall Birmingham, James O'Hara, our half forward line, reads David Burke, Tom O'Donovan Jay Coleman in the inside line, Aidan Moylan, Connor Whelan and Barry Britton so we have a break in play, we get a chance to get a breather it'll be a couple of minutes I imagine, uh, they're ready to go again so it's a new system in the GA. They get this water break to recharge the batteries and go again. So, Ballantyne by four points. We have 17 minutes, 42 seconds on the clock. And we're prepared to go again. As the referee waits for both teams to come back into their position. And we have the puck out from that man, Michael Kelly. Michael playing down from the town goal down towards the scoreboard. Surveys his options as both teams go into their position. Here we have it, Michael Kelly. will send it long and drives the ball as high as he can as long as he can straight down the middle right into the danger area five or six go for position the ball breaks inside who's got the centre back is Leach Leach goes to ground Leach team to win the free Alan Leach has won the free there for Kinvara and Kinvara again around the attack so out comes again Colum Cannon, the Galway custodian from your a great servant of Galway and Kinvara hurling and I like to believe his mother is from Kalimer Daily <laughs> The video man tells me that, Mr. Ronan Boyle. Thank you, Ronan, for that. It's Colm Cannon. Looks at the options. He bends, he lifts, and he strikes. He drives that ball as long and as far as he can in towards the goal, into that danger run again. Connor Whelan. Two go for the ball, breaks away. And who has it there? But the wing back, the wing back for uh, for Ballandurian is uh, that man. That man is pa Packy Lane. Packy Lane finds a midfielder. Midfielder is uh, Roy Lane. Roy Lane will travel. Pa oh, a demon nasty challenge there on Roy Lane. He travelled maybe 10 or 15 yards the ball. He was fouled. Uh, pull across there by the Canberra number 9, uh, James O'Hara. Maybe in trouble for that. Uh, but good, honest play from, from, from Roy Lane. And he gets a yellow for his efforts. So, free to Ballandurin. Roy Lane will take it, the man who was fouled. He stands over the ball. He's just inside his own 
middle of the field about 10 or 15 yards he bends he lifts and he strikes the ball in towards the goal it's lofting in it's lofting high but it's gone off to the left and it's gone wide from midfield to Roy Lane back to the action Colin Conlon with the puck out still a four point ball game Ballandering 1-6 Kinvara 1-2 and a short puck out to uh, that mid midfield in of James O'Hara plays a lovely ball down the line to Shane Cabinet Shane Cabinet gets the ball off his left side first time direct from Shane Cabinet towards the goal ball breaks inside great catch there by the corner forward the corner forward for, uh, for Kinvara he wins a free in Barry Britton won that ball very well travel across and was deemed to be tackled so free in to Kinvara Conor Whelan will take it we have 20 minutes and 12 seconds on the clock. Conor Whelan stands over this free. His team need a score. They're four points behind. Conor bends, lifts, strikes with constant ease. Conor Whelan puts it in high and over the bar. Good score from Conor Whelan. It's back to a three point ball game. Ballandering Lee by 1 6 to 1 3. And the puck out is to Michael Kelly. Michael Kelly looks at his options. What way will he go? Will he drive it as long as he can? He certainly will. He drives the ball. Route one, direct down the middle as far as he can go. In between four or five, the ball breaks inside. Who's got it? Who's got it? That man Leach goes for it. He fails to control, but out towards uh, Kieran Ryan. The uh, Kieran Ryan. Kieran Ryan. The ball breaks inside to the midfield. The midfielder is Shane Larkin. He's half hooked. The ball breaks inside towards uh, Nile Cohn. Nile Cohn is tackled. Nile Cohn goes again. Nile Cohn is tackled again, but he goes again. The ball is breaks a 50-50 ball. Who comes out? The cornerback is uh, hard to see from here, but Kieran Ryan's got it. Kieran Ryan travels the line. Kieran Ryan comes in the side. Kieran Ryan off his left hand side. And Kieran Ryan has put it in and high over the bar. Another good score from Kieran Ryan. That's the second of the day. Kieran featured on a Fitzgibbon team in back in 2015. Talented hurler. Colin Canlon drives the ball. Down the side, all the way down towards the uh, half back line. In around the house, there is uh, the corner forward. Barry, Bitton. Barry plays a flick inside towards Moylan. Moylan is tackled. Connor Whelan's got it. Connor Whelan goes for it. Connor Whelan goes again. He's been tackled hard. He's been tackled really hard. Great tackling. Great 50 50 going on. And Connor Whelan has over tarried. Robbie Lane displaying fantastic defensive skill there. Shadowing Connor Whelan. We have a free, and a free is to Ballandarine. Whelan at his best, yet he was. Def Denied by a brilliant bit of defence from uh, Robbie Lane as Roy Lane plays the ball down the line here. Leach looks to be in control of completion. He's got the ball in his hand. He comes out. He's been tackled hard by Kevin Lane. He gives a hand pass back to uh, the fullback. The fullback is Shane Byrne. Shane Byrne plays the ball down here towards the midfield. The midfielder is uh, O'Hara. O'Hara first control it, but David Doc O'Connor has got the ball. O'Connor goes. He missed. He goes again. He's tackled by two environment. The ball breaks inside. Kavner goes again. Kavner, what a great story he is. Plays a smart ball to wing back. Wing back is uh, James Cronin Rogers. Doc travels in towards the middle of the field. There's two or three going through it there. Who, who's going to get it? We'll have to wait and see. It might be a throw ball, but who gets away with the environment has it? But it pokes away inside again. It's taken away by Kieran Ryan. Kieran Ryan getting onto the ball for a ball He travels inside. He sidesteps off his left hand side. He hits a high shot in towards the goal, but it's gone off the left and it's gone wide. Good possession from Ballander in there. They lead by four. 1 7 1 3. 22 minutes 35 seconds on the clock. And we have Colum Cannon on the puck out. Serving his options. Might decide to go route one. He goes out to the left under, under the stand here in Kenny Park and at the right. Ball breaks inside and who's got it? That man is uh, the wing back is uh, Kieran Meehan. Kieran Meehan controls it, comes down his own side. Here. Kieran plays a lovely swat, but, but intercepted, intercepted by uh, O'Connor, the uh, or should I say Tom O'Donnell, the centre forward last year's captain for Canberra. And we have a sideline ball, which a sideline ball will be taken by that man Roy Lane. 1 7 1 3, Ballandering by 4, 23 minutes and 11 seconds on the clock. Next score is what you imagine is very important coming up to half time here. Here goes Roy Lane. Places the ball. He's going to cut it off his right hand side. Bends down nice and low and strikes the ball. It's going in over. It may travel in over. It's going in over the side on this side. That's a sideline ball back to Kinbar. So we have the midfielder, Niall Birmingham. They're going to take the sideline for Kinvara. Travelling up the pitch, he's gone inside the middle of the field. He's just inside the middle of the field here. So, Birmingham looks at his options. Off his left hand side, what's he going to do? He's going to play it down the line, straight to Roy Lane, and Roy Lane drives it row one all the way in towards the goal. We have six looking to get the possession. Who will get it? That man has it. The man has it is uh, the corner forward, the full forward, should I say, and Niall Cohn. Great fetch there from Niall Cohn at the edge of the square. He was fouled. There was options aplenty, but he was fouled, so we have a free, a free to Bandarine. They lead 1 7 to 1 3. And the free taker is the man himself, Niall Cohn. 
He bends and he lifts off his strike of the left-hand side. He drives in and high and over the bar. Just as the drop into the arena is starting to fall in Kenny Park, left and right. We have Ballandarine by five points. 24 and a half minutes out on the clock. The cameraman has given me his brolly. Thanks, Ronan. As Colum Cannon plays the ball out towards the wing back. The wing back is uh, James Cronin Rogers. Looks for an option. Who will he play? He travels the line here very well. He seems to over carry the ball here. Great pressure from Ballandarine. They're really fed up for this contest today. And we have a free. A free is to Royal Lane. Roy will take this free. 25 minutes approaching on the clock, and we have Roy Lane who stand over this free. Ballandarine 1 8. Kinvara 1 3. This to put Ballandarine 6 points to the good, coming up to half time. One of our star players so far, Roy Lane, he's standing over this free. He bends and he lifts and he strikes. The shot from Roy Lane travels in low trajectory, in and high and over the bar. Good score from Roy Lane. Ballandorian 1 9, Kinvara 1 3. And we have Cullen Cullen, a busy man in this first half. Cullen will drive that ball as long as he can down the middle. All the way down the middle. Who's going to break inside? There's four going for it. The ball breaks away. Who has it? David Dock O'Connor. David travels with the ball. David pulls the ball in the stick. He, he takes breaks away from Conor Wheeling. He breaks the ball inside, but taken away by that man, Shane Cabinet. Shane Cabinet playing very well for Kinvara. Plays a smart ball to uh, the midfield. The midfielder is James O'Hara. And O'Hara drives the ball in towards the goal. Who's coming out here? But the uh, it's a schmuzzle between the two. But coming out his left half back is Packy Lane. Packy finds the his fullback. His fullback is Sean Collins. And Sean Collins drives the ball way down towards Kieran Ryan. Kieran's going to go for it. He has to go for it because he's been challenged by James Cronin Rogers. Rogers goes, gives a hand pass back to his midfield partner. The midfield partner is Niall Birmingham. And Birmingham plays the ball in towards the uh, centre forward. Last year's captain, Tom O'Donovan. Off his right hand side. Shot from Tom O'Donovan in and high, but it's gone to the right and it's gone wide. We have 26 minutes, 22 on the clock. Ballandorian by six as Kelly drives the ball all the way down. Down the middle, straight down, Rouge one, danger area, ball breaks inside. Who's got it? Who's got it? But that man, the corner forward, the corner forward, looks for an option. Is it Shane Larkin? My apologies, this is the midfielder, Shane Larkin. He drives the ball in and high and over the bar. Good work from Shane Larkin there, good score. Ballandorian by seven. Ballandorian 1-10, Kinvara 1-3. And Colum Cannon again on the puck out. Surveys his options, drive a ball, low trajectory, all the way down. Breaks into the middle of the field. Challenged there by that man, Kieran Ryan. Kieran Ryan, a score of two points this first half. He's been challenged. Challenged by uh, uh, Tom, Tom O'Donovan, the captain from last year. Ball breaks inside to Moylan. Moylan finds a nice ball to his uh, ex county man, Shane Kavner. Shane plays a, a short ball in towards the goal. Kelly will control it. He goes for Kelly controls. Good control from Michael Kelly. Plays the ball out towards the fullback. And the fullback is, uh, is Sean Collins. Sean Collins surveys his options and goes as long as he can down the left-hand side. All the way down to that man, Kevin Lane. Kevin Lane goes to break. Ball breaks inside him. Kevin goes again. But he's been challenged by the Kinvara defence. Good defence there by Kinvara. And the uh, left cornerback is uh, Keelan O'Rourke. Or Colonel Morris, you should say. The ball breaks inside towards the uh, Moylan. Moylan finds... Uh, O'Hara, O'Hara or Birmingham, Birmingham I think it is, Birmingham plays the ball in towards uh, Tom O'Donovan, Tom O'Donovan goes to the possession, checks back inside, gives a hand pass back to Birmingham, Birmingham off his left hand side in towards the goal, a dangerous looking ball, being contested in there, being contested but a brilliant bit of play there by the left half back, Packy Lane, left half back looking up, surveying his option, drives the ball off his right hand side, all the way down to the right half back, right back to James Cronin Rogers, James fails control, he's been challenged by Kevin Lane, but Cronin comes again, plays a diagonal cross feed ball all the way to the middle, to that man, uh, the uh, Moylan, Aiden Moylan, Aiden Moylan off his right hand side in towards the goal, being challenged but deemed a free out. A 50-50 skirmish inside. Whelan deemed to be fouling. The man inside. So it's a free out to Ballandorine as we are approaching 28 minutes and 18 seconds on the clock. It's Ballandorine by seven. And out here to the right half forward is Sean Meehan. Sean, Keith Ogun talk. Gets the ball. Goes position. Been tackled by Shane Kavner. Shane having a good first half for the men in purple and gold. And Shane Kavner wins the free end. Good, free, good position there from Shane Kavner. Playing a fine game. The man who has served the club of Kinvara for years. A fine county hurler. Cadden will stand over the free. Maybe leave it to the the present county hurler, Conor Whelan. Out comes Conor Whelan. A man who's had a busy couple of years with Galway. Of course, he was a pivotal part of Kinvara when they won last year's intermediate championship. Conor Whelan picks the ball up and he'll have a go at this. He's standing about five to ten yards inside his own, inside the 50. So he's going to have a cut at this off his right hand side. Been instructed by the linesman to go back inside. Here goes Conor Whelan off his right hand side. It's all the way, it's straight and true. And a good point from Conor Whelan. We're back to a six point ball game. 
Ballandorian by 6 Ballandorian 110 Kinvara 14 we nearly have played 30 minutes 29 23 to be exact and we have Kelly again Michael Kelly the goalie is. he's going to drive the ball as long as he can straight down the middle route 1 all the way right into the danger zone into uh, Fluke Prendergast the minor from last year ball back inside to Shane Lacker good position play but tackled very well tackled Doc has it Doc O'Connor Dave O'Connor the fitness man Doc breaks inside Doc is challenged by 3 4 if not, but he's referee plays the venue. O'Connor is trapped in a straight line. O'Connor is hooked. He's half hooked, but he's stayed going. He's one of three. He's one of three. Deemed to have been fouled there. It would appear oh, by yeah. Alan Leach. So he's one of three in. And we've just been told three minutes of additional time. So good work there by David Doc O'Connor. And we have Ballandarian 110, Kinvara 14. Three minutes of additional time played. We're just inside the first minute now. Nine seconds to be exact. And we have the full forward, Niall Cohn. Niall stands over the ball off his left hand side a simple free by his standards Niall Cohn bends, lifts and strikes and sends the ball in and high and over the bar good score from Niall Cohn so Ballandarian by 7 one eleven. 11 Kinvara 1-4, Colin Canlon he goes again looks for options here, will he go long, will he go short He's played a short out towards his cornerback. Uh, his cornerback is Colin Morrissey Colin Morrissey will drive it off his right hand side high up towards the right half uh, Back position here. Who's going for it here? But Pecky Lane. Pecky comes out. Patrick Lane uh, drops the shoulder. Wins the challenge. But the ball's in, in and, off and over the line. It's a Kinvara sideline ball. Uh, good work there from uh, Patrick Lane. But deemed to have brought the line, ball in over the line. It's Connor Whelan. Going to take the sideline cut. He plays a lovely smart ball. He's intercepted there by. Uh, by Roy Lane. Roy Lane drives off his left hand side in towards the danger zone. Nile Cohn, Nile Cohn, caught the one last one. Ball breaks it into Doc O'Connor. Doc pulls, but Colin Cannon, he's a Colin Cannon, very rest assured. Out to Kavna. Kavna, see an awful ball this first half. Plays a small, smart ball to uh, that man from Kinvara. That man is, uh, is uh, Nile Birmingham. Birmingham travels, travels about 10 15 yards. T tackled by one, two, Ballon Diamond. The ball breaks inside to his midfield partner. His midfield partner is uh, Nile Birmingham. Birmingham, the ball towards the goal. And going for it there is the uh, left half forward for Kinvara. That's uh, David Brooke. David Brooke is challenged. Challenged by two, if not three. Whelan comes out and grabs it. Whelan off his left hand side. Whelan looks for a score. Connor Whelan high and Connor Whelan over the bar. Great bit of play there by Connor Whelan. Came out from his full forward berth. Took possession. Came inside and fired over a good score. Puck out Michael Kelly. Ballandarian by six. Down the middle, Route 1 all the way, ball breaks out towards the right half back, the right half back is James Cronin Rogers. Rogers plays the ball right down the right hand side to his other wing back and that wing back is, uh, is uh, Shane Kavner, or should I say Keelan O'Rourke, ball breaks inside, who has it but Packy Lane, Patrick Lane, gets possession, gives a hand pass to his full back, his full back is uh, Sean Collins and Collins sends a lovely ball over to the right hand side here to last year's goal in minor, Luke Prendergast, Luke, loads of time to see what he does, off his left hand side, plays a lovely midfield ball, into the middle, who has it here but Roy Lane, Roy, has a bit of a chance, but he's hooked by one. It's got two Ballandarian men there. It, they fight for, for position, the Ballandarian and Kinvara men. Local parishes, local derby. Lion has it again. Laying off his left hand side. All the way in, traveling. Should be controlled by Colin Cannon. Cannon rest assured in the goal. Cannon finds his uh, his colleague, Shane Cavanagh. Cavanagh again on the ball. Cavanagh drives the ball off his right hand side. Way, way down towards the line. Who's going to get here? Patrick Lane looks up. Got it. Patrick in the white helmet. Patrick checks back inside. Gives a lovely hand pass to his, uh, his uh, centre back. His centre back is Robbie Lane. Robbie Lane, a man who started for NUIG a couple of years ago, too. Robbie to Michael Kelly. And Michael Kelly sends the ball way down the middle. And the referee has blown a half time whistle. There we have it. Ballandarine 111, Canberra 1 5. Ballandarine lead, lead by 6. We'll come back to you soon. We are back, second half is on, and uh, the possession is to uh, that Kinvara man, Tom Dunham. Tom plays the ball in towards the uh, his full forward, Connor Wheel. The ball breaks out. The full back there is uh, Sean, uh, Sean Collins. Sean fails to control. The ball breaks inside, but who's come down here? It breaks uh, three or four or five. Connor Wheel tries to go for it. Fails to pick up this three, four, five. Kinvara and Ballinari in there are trying to get the ball. The referee will throw on the ball. So the second half has just begun. We have 22 seconds just played. It's Ballinari 111, Kinvara 15 as we get the next set of drops to rain here. The throwing ball between. Number 11, Tom Donovan, and number 5 is uh, Kieran Meehan. Oh, the, two, the ball breaks inside. Who's got it but uh, Larkin? Shane Larkin fails control. The ball breaks inside. Again, another Shamazel. 3 and 4. Whelan tries to control it. He's been tackled. He's been fouled. Who's going to get another 50 50 ball? But coming out to Shane Larkin. Great player from Shane Larkin. Out towards Kieran Ryan. Kieran Ryan off the left hand side. Drives a lovely, lovely ball down the line here. Down to uh, the, the uh, full forward from uh, earlier on. Nile Cohn. Nile Cohn. Looks to he's travelled out about 50 yards and goal off his left hand side. Nine plays the ball in off his left hand side. High from Nile Cohn. Tailing off to right and wide from Nile Cohn. That's Ballandarian's first wide of the second half. Good play there from uh, Kieran Ryan. He found his uh, colleague uh, Niall Cohn as Colin Callan drives the ball out towards the line, in towards the half back line. Coming out there is right half back, and right half back is uh, is uh, Kieran Meehan. 
Kieran Meehan or Paddy Lane should I say plays the ball down towards the corner down the corner who is Kevin Lane Kevin Lane goes for he's been challenged by the uh, environment the ball the go around but he's deemed to be fouled uh, the environment is deemed to be in foul and that's a free out to uh, Kinvara we were free to Kinvara which Colin Cannon will come out to take as the rain falls here in Kenny Park and Athen Roy Colin Cannon Kinvara need of a score they're six points behind Cannon plays the ball and looks for an option here comes Kieran Cannon it was from this distance last year that the ball went to the net when they won the Intermediate County Final against Click and Arden. Callum will drive as long and hard as he can all the way in towards the danger zone, in towards the D zone. Callum Whelan goes up, he breaks, the ball breaks inside, in towards Milan. Milan in the corner forward, but inside again is centre back, centre back Robbie Lane, and Robbie Lane off his right hand side. Drives the ball out towards the uh, wing forward position, out of the line and gone over the line. And this is sideline ball to uh, Kinvara, and we have uh, the wing back there who seems to be James Conan Rogers, about to take it, looks for an option. He's going to play it across the pitch to right half forward. Right half forward is uh, Jay Coleman. Jay Coleman drives the ball off his left hand side in towards Michael Kelly. Michael controls the brilliant. Michael comes out to his left hand side. Michael off his left hand side plays a lovely smart ball down the line here. Down to the midfield man for Canberra. That man is uh, James O'Hara. O'Hara breaks the challenge off his right hand side. O'Hara high and O'Hara in and over the bar. A good score from James O'Hara. A good score from James O'Hara. That's Canberra's first point the second half. It's back to a five point ball game. We have Ballandurine 111, Kinvara 16, and Michael Kelly about to take the puck out. Michael sends the ball as long as he can down the middle. Down towards Alan Leach, breaks inside Alan Leach, and uh, Kevin Lane, the ball breaks inside. Who's got it? Hart C, who has it? But is that man? Uh, Leach has it again, and Leach doing very well for his club. A former county hurler in Leach. Won the free for his club, and who's going to take it? It's going to be Shane Kavna. In fact, no. It won't be Shane, or it won't be. Shane Byrne is going to be Colm Canlon. Colm the goalie from Canberra. Drives the ball as best he can as this shower has somewhat hampered his ability maybe to control the ball. And sh- here comes Colm Canlon. Constable professional of the ball. Picks, bends and strikes. High and long as he can. Colm right into the D, right into the danger zone. In high and over the bar. A brilliant score from Colm Canlon. An inspirational score from the goalie. We have three and a half minutes. Ballon Doreen. 111, Kinvara 17, Kinvara have brought it back to a four point ball game. And the puck out is to Michael Kelly. Good start from Kinvara to the second half. Kelly with the puck out, he's going to look for his options over here to the left hand side, and Kelly drives the ball on the left hand side over towards Kieran Ryan. Kieran Ryan, not fine, actually Kevin Lane. Right, Kevin Lane should I say, Niall Cohn, Niall Cohn breaks away, but who has it? That man Leach. Leach finds uh, Birmingham. Birmingham looks for enough, he finds O'Hara, and O'Hara of his right hand side drives the ball down towards the middle here, and Leach going strong, but will he be challenged? He's going to be challenged by one, if not two. Illegally so, illegally so, as uh, Aiden Wine is challenged, and that's going to be a free, a free in to uh, Kinvara. Uh, a challenge of that man, uh, Aiden Moylan. And out comes Conor Whelan to take the free. Good start to the second half by Kinvara. They were six points behind at half time. They've now picked it back to a four point ball game. And we have four minutes, 23 seconds on the clock. Conor Whelan stands over this ball. Bends, lifts, and strikes straight. Heading off, actually tailing to the left and gone wide. Tough look on Conor Whelan there. Did everything right, but the breeze seemed to take it away. We still have that four point ball game. Ballandorian by four. At 111 to Kinvara's 1 7 as Kelly plays the puck out. Out towards Kieran Ryan about to hit him out of the sideline. It's gone out on the sideline. It's going to be a Kinvara ball. Kinvara have the impulse in the second half. Ballandorian yet to settle down. We have a sideline cut. A sideline cut to Kinvara. He looks for his options. And he's the wing back. The wing back for Kinvara is James Cullen Rogers. He places the ball again. Cullen Rogers looks up. What's he going to do with it? Kinvara responsible by the pure head plays a lovely short ball to the uh, midfielder O'Hara ball breaks inside and coming out there the wing forward wing forward is Sh- Sean Meehan Sean Meehan's got the ball he travels. he's challenged good play there again by Sean Meehan that's a good bit of play by Sean Meehan wins the free a free that Ballandurian needed a bit of an, an afterwards there between a couple of the players but it's a free that Ballandurian badly needed and we have a free and that free will be taken by midfielder Roy Lane Ballandurian by 4 111 to 17 as the rain starts to fall Rather heavily here in Kenny Park and Athen Wright. Roy Lane stands over this ball, stands back about four to five yards from it. And here he comes. He bends, he lifts, and he strikes it low trajectory in towards the goal. It's travelling all the way in, caught by the goalie, Colum Cullen. Cullen finds the, uh, that man, Shane Kavanagh. Shane Kavanagh off his right hand side. Kavanagh will look to play down the line. He's played the ball all the way down the line, but it's intercepted there by the, his. Uh, Birmingham, Birmingham plays the ball down here, but out here is uh, 
is Paddy Lane. Paddy Lane is in the right half back position. Gives a lovely hand pass. A beautiful hand pass there to Roy Lane. Roy Lane looks for an option. Travels inside. He travels low and he hits the ball over the right hand side in towards the goal. In towards the uh, Bandarian general. Coming out there is Kevin Lane. Kevin Lane is challenged by one, if not two. Bandarian are starting to. Uh, King Valley started into this game a lot as he brought it there by Shane Cavan in towards the goal. Caught there, but ball out to Connor Whelan. Whelan's gone. Whelan looks to travel inside. Whelan on his left. Whelan goes past one, if not two. Whelan plays a shot. Whelan is challenged and fouled. And they're free into Kinvara. Good approach play though by Kinvara. A direct ball in from their full back. Shane Byrne travelled all the way into uh, Connor Whelan. He took on maybe one, if not two, but enjoying man. He was fouled. We're back to it. We have a four point goal game. This should be three. If Connor Whelan obliges, the referee Sean the Cartabui to the Ballandering cornerback, that's Brendan Burke. As Whelan stands over this free, seven minutes nine seconds on the clock, Ballandering by four. Whelan fixes his socks, stands over the free, bends, lifts, and taps it over the bar. Good score from Connor Whelan. We're back to a three point ball game. What was six at half time is now picked back to three. Seven minutes, 27 seconds, eight on the clock, shall I say. And the puck out is to Michael Kelly. Michael, what's he going to do with this one? He off his right hand side. Driving from the scoreboard towards the town goal. Michael sends it as long as he can, straight down the middle. In between three, if not four players, the ball breaks inside. And who's got it? That man has got it. Is it, is it uh, the corner forward? Luke Prendergast. Luke hasn't seen much of the ball in this cell. He, he gives a hand pass to David Doc O'Connor. David travels one inside. It's not two. David heading straight for the goal. David plays a lovely short pass to uh, Royal Lane. A goal! A brilliant goal for Ballandarine. A massive bit of vision there from David Doc O'Connor. He broke the line smartly, played the ball to Royal Lane. And Roy stuck it in the back of the net. And that is a tonic goal for Ballandarine. They now lead by 2 11 to 1 8. We have 8 minutes and 9 seconds on the clock. Big score for Ballandarine. 6 point ball game. The Reigns still teams down here. Nathan Ryan plays the ball here. Down towards the central forward. O'Donovan taps the ball away. But the wing back. That's a good 50-50 ball. Who's got it? O'Donovan. Tom checks back inside. He's going to be challenged by one. If not two, Ballandarian. He looks to find an option. He's on the, uh, the uh, wing forward. The wing forward plays the ball in towards Conor Whelan. Whelan goes together. Whelan's got it. Tom is in off his right hand side. Shot from Conor Whelan. Lovely score from Conor Whelan. Brilliant score. The man can turn on just like a lat switch. He's a fantastic horror, Conor Whelan. Back to a five point ball game. 2 11 1 9. We have 8 47 on the clock, and we have a substitution for the Convara team. Going off the team is number 20, Aidan Mullen. And coming on is Danny Travis. So it's Danny Travis for Aidan Mullen. And the puck out is to Michael Kelly. Michael plays the ball all the way down towards uh, Kieran Ryan. Kieran Deem to push on the back. That's another free to Ken Barra. And Colin Callan will travel out the 40, 50 yards from his goal. Look to play this free as far and as long as he can. Interesting second half. We had a good start from Ken Barra. They pegged it back to uh, three, four points. And then we had a tonic goal there from Roy Lane after brilliant individual work by David Doc O'Connor. So it's a very much an even Stephen game still. 9.37 on the clock. Colin Callan over the wall. The rain has stopped here in Kenny Park at the right. Bolly's gone away. And people can enjoy it. Here comes Colin Callan. Picks and strikes it high, long. In towards the goal. Travelling all the way. Will it travel high? It travels in and over the bar. Brilliant score by Colin Callan. That's his second of this second half. Had the range and the accuracy. Well capable of that Colin Callan. Four point ball game, 2 11 1 10. Michael Kelly stands over this puck out. Michael's played a good game for his club, Ballandarin. He's looked to find a few options to see who's in front of him. He drives this ball, he'll play it to the right hand side, to the right half forward position. Who's coming out there but the corner forward? The corner forward is uh, Stuke Prendergast. The ball breaks inside, the ball breaks down here to the wing back. The wing back for uh, for uh, Ballandarin is uh, Kieran Mee or Packy Lane. Plays the ball inside towards Kevin Lane. Uh, Niall Cohn, should I say, Niall Cohn comes out on his left hand side, shot from Niall Cohn, it travels in high, over the bar! Brilliant point there from Niall Cohn. He took the cross field ball there, travelled out to his left hand side and fired in a beautiful, beautiful score. Ballandering by five, great score. Niall Cohn, Kinvara puck out, ball travels in towards the goal. Last year's captain, Tom O'Donnell, Tom has got the ball, he's been challenged. He checks back inside and he plays a diagonal ball in towards the, towards the goal. Who's there? The two Ballandering men. The cornerback looks to have fouled there, but he's the referee deals play away. Whelan goes for it. Strong, strong hurler. Whelan wins the free. Connor Whelan worked really hard to get possession of that free. And we have it a five point ball game and a free to Connor Whelan. 
11-7 on the clock. This is a right good game. Sun starts to shine in Kenny Park and at the right. Great to see it. Great to have senior championship hurling GA back in earnest after the long break. And we hope for a, a continued championship and a championship that will finish. And please God we have an inter-county championship after it. But again we can only go game by game, day by day. As Conor Whelan stands over the ball. He bends, he lifts and he strikes and he's in towards the goal. High and over the bar. Good score from Conor Whelan. Back to a four point ball game. Michael Kelly stands over the ball. He's going to take the puck out. 11.43 on the clock. Michael Kelly looks for his options. Off his right hand side. Drives the ball. Down towards the number 10 position. Kieran Ryan's going to go for it. He's going to try and fetch it. The ball breaks inside. Who's got it? Uh, that man's got it. Uh, is it Shane Larkin or Roy Lane? One of the two. But the ball breaks away to Kieran Ryan. Kieran Ryan can't control it. It's been challenged away there. But uh, coming away with the Kingbarry defender. He gives a hand pass to Birmingham. Birmingham challenged by, uh, by the full back. And the ball is in there. Who's going to get it? It's pulled down by the Bandarayman. In towards the goal. Leach coming out. Leach gone to go. Leach wins the free. Alan Leach wins the free. Challenged by David Doc O'Connor there. And might see a Corta. Leach wins the free for his beloved Kinvara. What's going to happen here? Will he get the yellow card or will he begin a warning? Maybe just a tick. Referee. Gives him the court de bouille. So, free Kinvara, court de bouille for David O'Connor. Four point game, 12 minutes 40 seconds, and Colin Cantlin about to place this ball. As the sun starts to shine. On Kenny Park and Athen Roy. Colin Cannon. He bends, he lifts, and he strikes. Again, route one. As long and hard as he can go. Right in towards the edge of the D. Breaking inside there is Connor Wheel. The ball breaks inside. Who's got it? It's the, it's the right half back. Uh, right half back is Kieran Meehan. Great work from Kieran Meehan. Out towards Shane Larkin. Larkin plays the ball off his right hand side. Over towards the midfielder. Niall Birmingham. Niall Birmingham goes for it. Birmingham off his left hand side. Plays a lovely ball. In towards the goal. Who's got it? But the full back. The full back is um, Sean Collins. Sean Collins off towards Shane, uh, Shane Larkin. And Larkin hits the ball off his left hand side. In towards Leach. Goes inside the cover. But breaks inside. Who's got it again? Alan Leach. He's had a good start to the second half. Alan Leach plays the ball off to left forward. Left half forward. This is uh, David Burke. Dear Burke is challenged. The ball makes inside towards the fullback. The fullback is Shane Burke. As Shane Burke comes out, he's challenged. He goes to hit it off his right hand side in towards the goal. Whelan has got it again. Connor Whelan, the danger man for Canberra. He's a pro class act when he gets goal. He gives the hammers off to the right half forward. Jay Coleman. Jay Coleman is traveling. Jay Coleman the challenge. Jay Coleman looks to get a free in. Good tackling there for the Bandari defense. It's in around the house. Whelan's got it again. Here goes Connor Whelan. Connor Whelan. Well hooked. Well blocked. It's gone off to the right. It's gone wide from Connor Whelan. Massive defense work there from the Bandari defense. They put the pressure on the danger man, Connor Whelan. And the ball has gone to the right hand side, it's gone wide. Four point ball game, still anything, anyone's game. 2 12 1 11, 14 minutes just gone. Little break in the play here, and we have a substitution, a fire from the Ballandurian team, number 19. Number 19, Cahal Gill replaces number 10, Sean Meehan. So, Cahal Gill comes in for Sean Meehan and we have the puck out. The puck out is to Michael Kelly. Michael Kelly will hit this ball to his left. All the way down to the number 12 position. Right down on top of uh, the substitute. The ball breaks inside. It's a 50-50 ball. And who's going to get it? Um, Prendergast goes for it. He's been challenged. It's a 50-50 ball again. Who's going to get it? It's a Canberra ball. They're coming out with it. It's a bit of support here. But broken away there by Luke Prendergast. Prendergast goes down a room. Lovely pick up there from Luke Prendergast. He checks back inside. He looks for it again. He's playing with the ball. He wins a free out. Very, very smart play from Luke Prendergast. Showed great composure there. Wait for the challenge. Check back inside. Good skill there from the young man from last year, Luke Prendergast. And out comes Michael Kelly to win the free, to pick the free, should I say, for his beloved Ballandarine. <laughs> Kelly will stand over this ball. Hit it off his right hand side. He bends, he lifts, and he strikes the ball as long as he can, all the way down. Right in towards the centre half final berth. Caught brilliantly by David Doc O'Connor. David gives a lovely hand pass off to uh, Shane Larkin. Shane looks to travel inside, but Leach is there on Leach. The ball goes to ground. There's three or four or five in a shamazel. Who's going to get it? We can't seem to see from here it's 50 50 ball the referee's going to throw it in so we have a throw in ball here town and goal nothing right Alan Drain by 4 2 12 Kinvara 1 11 and we have a throw in ball Shane Larkin is the one person sending him from Ballandarine and the man from Birmingham to the middle of the field from Kinvara. Larkin tries to win the ball, but the ball breaks away. Again, it's kicked away there by Kevin Lane. Kevin Lane travels out. He puts, he jabs, lifts the ball. He travels inside. Kevin Lane is travelling. Kevin plays a lovely crossfield ball off his left hand side. 
to uh, the full forward, the full forward Niall Cohen checks back inside, left inside, Niall Cohen high and Niall Cohen over the bar. A great score from Niall Cohen. Smart play there from Kevin Lane. Kevin showed the vision, peripheral vision, played a cross field ball through Niall Cohen. Niall Cohen with constant ease taps the ball over the bar and now we have a five point ball game yet again. Van and Doreen, 213. Kimbara 111 and now we have that water break for both teams. So it's been quite a competitive second half. We had a whirlwind start for Kinvara. They brought it back to three, four points. Then we had that brilliant goal from Royal Lane, made by David Dock O'Connor. And Kinvara, or sorry, Ballandurian have maintained their advantage ever since. Of course, the local derby. Two teams who would know each other pretty well from down to the years. Kinvara, just up from the intermediate ranks. Ballandurian came up the previous year, so they'd be well known to each other, both in underage circles and school circles down through the years, as they sit in two huddles and examine where they're at and try to go again. And we have 17 minutes, 17, 18 seconds played. Pitch in remarkable condition here in Kenny Park at the right. Sparse crowd, the 200. But again, great to see GA back around the county and the country this weekend. And hopefully it'll maintain that way for a while. Later on here this evening, we have the clash of Ardrahan and Climber Daily at 6 o'clock. Again, a 50-50 game. As the referee comes out, looking at his watch. Of course, this water breaks anonymous with the new system for the teams they get a chance to reset recalibrate and go again so here we go again as both teams go back it's still Ballandurian 213 Kinbarra 11 18 minutes 17 on the clock and the rousing cheers of come on Ballandurian and come on Kinbarra echo around Kenny Park Critical moment in this game for both teams now as we enter the final quarter. So we're going to resume play and we're going to have a, a puck out from the environment. That man Cullum Cannon. So Cullum will hit that ball. He'll drive it short. He has to retake it again, Cullum Cannon. He must take it again. Teams one reset. So we go again, Cullum Cannon take two. This time he might like to go long, he may have to. He does go long, he plays it down here at the right hand side. Colin Cannon drives the ball down towards the right half forward position. Ball breaks over the top and it's in towards the uh, corner forward. The corner forward for Kimbara is uh, top man. Barry Britton, Barry Britton is travelling, he loses position. And he is, he's come out there by the left quarterback Jack Tully. Tully goes to get it, loses control, ball breaks inside. It's a 50 50 ball again. Wheeling goes for it. There's two, three, four. Bad drive in there trying to get position. It's a 50 50 ball, but Wheeling's got it. Wheeling looks to get it, checked, tackled hard, hard, but unfairly. Says referee. Roy Lane has tackled Conor Whelan. Good play from Conor Whelan. So, free to Conor Whelan. Made the free, about to take the free. His side, five points behind. In need of a score. As he fixes the sock. Stands over the ball. Whelan lifts, bends and strikes. A lovely shot. Travels across the goal, face the goal and gone to the left and gone wide. So, we're back to Ballandurian on the attack again and we have a puck out from that man, Michael Kelly in the goal. Michael surveys the options, looks up and will drive this ball as long as he can. Down towards the right half forward position. Four come to take it, who's going to grab it here for Ballandurian? The ball breaks inside to the wing forward for uh, Kimbara and it's David Burke. David Burke looks to travel inside, he gives the hampers, intercepted by Shane Lang, but the ball comes again. Who's got it? Birmingham, or O'Hara, Birmingham out towards the... Uh, James Cullen Rogers. Rogers plays a nice ball in towards the goal. Who's going to get it there? Michael Lane goes for the ball, breaks inside to number 19. This is the sub for Kinvara in towards the goal. Good control there from, uh, from Michael Kelly. And Kelly plays the ball out towards the half back line, out towards number 7. Michael Lane and Michael Lane drives the ball as long as he can for him. Ballandurian in towards the goal. Coming out strong is uh, Shane Kavanagh. Wins the win. And Shane Kavanagh. Good play from Shane Kavanagh. Hits the ball of his left hand side. 
falls to ground there. Can Varamat Kieran Ryan gets the ball. Lovely smart ball in towards the middle. In towards Prendergast. Prendergast finds Roy Lane. Roy Lane off the left hand side. Blocked. Blocked very well. Blocked there by uh, the wing back James Connor. Rogers wins the free in. Wins the free in. Roy Lane for his club. Lovely play there from Ballandering. Cross field ball into space. So. We have Roy Lane standing over this fee for Ballandarine. We have just 21 20 gone on the clock as Roy stands over this fee to put his side. Six points up. Ballandarine 213. Kinvara 111. Here comes Roy Lane standing back. Looks at the options. He will bend, he will lift, and he will strike. Oh, in and high and over the bar from Roy Lane. Great score again from Roy Lane with another substitute coming in here for the Ballandering Club. Coming in is number 20. Robert Meehan. So Robert Meehan coming in to replace what seems to be Kieran Ryan. And there we have it. So it's Robert Meehan, number 20. In for Kieran Ryan, a man who had a good hour. Scored two points in that first half. Did well. So Meehan for Ryan. Puck out Colin Canlon. Eight minutes on the clock. Ballandering by six. Callum will drive this ball down the middle, straight down the middle. All the way, travelling all the way through. Who's going to get it? Both Ballandering defenders go for it. Breaks inside. Again, Whelan goes to get it. But he's been challenged again. Birmingham. And who, who else is there? It's the uh, it's a Ballandering ball. It's a Kinvara ball. It's, it's a 50-50 ball. All the same. Who's going to win it? Whelan wins it. Gets around and travels. Travels. Lord. Go to ground. Whelan. Plays the ball of his right-hand side. Great from Colin Whelan. But great, great pressure from Ballandering. Super pressure from Ballandering. Whelan at his best, yet Ballandering prevail. Good defence. We have 22 47 on the clock. And a small break in the play. Ballandering by six. Ballandering 214. Can Barrett 111. And we have a, a bit of medical assistance for one of the Ballandering players. Cannot see who it is from here, but. It seems to be number seven, Patrick Lane, or Packy Lane is officially known. He's up again. And ready to go. So, Packy back on his feet, the landscaper. Here comes Michael Kelly. Michael, going to play the ball. Short trajectory, low trajectory, should I say. Out towards the right half forward position. Coming out of the left half or left corner forward, Kevin Lane. Kevin Lane travels. He's been challenged by the full back. Or the centre back is uh, Leach. Kevin Leach. And that's a free in. A free in to uh, Ballandarin. Good play from Kevin Lane. Took the challenge on. Team to be fouled by centre back. Alan Leach. And we have a free. And that free is to Ballandarin. They lead. On a score line of 214 to 111. We have a six point game and six minutes on the clock as Roy Lane stands over this ball. Roy stands like about four to five yards. He's going to jab this ball and hit it as hard as he can. Just before he does that, we have another sub on the Ballandarian team. Coming into the Ballandarian team is number 18. And number 18 is Dharma for the ball turns in towards the goal. Takes a flick. But Colin Cannon controls it and Colin Cannon's going to send the ball as long and as high as he can. Roof one as long and as high down the middle into the danger zone in towards the centre forward. Last year's captain Tom O'Donnell. Ball breaks out here towards the, the sub. Meehan. Meehan gets a hand pass off to uh, Shane Larkin. Shane's going to travel the ball. He travels. Ball on the stick. Shane Larkin. Play looks for an option. Plays the left hand side. Lovely ball over towards uh, that man Kevin Lane. Kevin in the corner. Kevin's got the ball. What do you do with it? Kevin travels in, in the right-hand side. Kevin been challenged. Kevin off the right-hand side. The shot from Kevin Lane going in. In around the house. Danger ball, but breaks off. Team to be a 65. Broken off Shane Cavanagh, according to the umpire. And we have a 65 to Ballandoreen. Good play again there from Kevin Lane. Travel the line. And wins his side a 65, which will be taken by that man, Roy Lane. They lead by six, 2.14 to 111. Roy Lane has a chance to make them seven points to the good. Looking at the direction of the breeze, the breeze seems to be going against them. Hitting in towards the town goal, as we call it here in Kenny Park, Athen Roy. Roy stands over the ball, steps back. Composed, about to jab it and strike it. Here we come. 
Roy Lane, he bends, he lifts, and he strikes a lovely shot in from Roy Lane. High, high, high. And over the bar from Roy Lane. Brilliant score from that man. Middle of the field. Ballandarian by seven, 215 to 111. Ball's played right down the middle towards the Ballandarian man. But Conor Whelan comes out, the man, the county man, trying to resurrect his side's hope as they trail by seven points. Whelan oh, travels right. inside. He gives a hamper in towards the goal. Who's looking for it there? But the, uh, the Kinvara corner forward. And that the Kinvara corner forward is uh, breaks back to Conor Whelan. I'm oh, sorry, should I say uh, Birmingham? He's been fouled. He's been fouled by uh, Ballandarian defence. Big moment for Kinvara now. Elite by seven. We have four and a half minutes on the clock and we have a free to convert it, maybe 23 or 4 yards out. Connor Whelan will probably be the man to step over this. His side near the goal. They trail in this first round proper of the book sponsor, Senior Hurling Championship. Senior B. Big win for the team who comes out here on top. As we await the free from Connor Whelan, referee gives us instructions. Tells his players to go back. The required distance. So here we come. Colm Callan. Colm Callan is going to take this free. His side need a goal. There's seven points behind. Here he comes. Colm Callan. He's going to go low. His side near the goal. Cullum lifts, he bends and he strikes a shot. A brilliantly saved by the Ballandari man at 65. A brilliant combined save by the Ballandari. Big moment in the match there for Kinvara. And Ballandari alike. Big moment. Great defensive work there by Ballandari. And again, Cullum Callan denied. So here we have a Kinvara 65. As we head towards the final moments in the Senior B Hurling Championship, sponsored by the Brooks in Galway. Big win. Whoever comes up on top here, it sets them up well for the rest of the group. Crockle and Gort await both these teams at some stage. But as it stands, Ballandarian by seven. And there's about 10 or 12 or 14 men inside the D. Callan's going to lob it in. He probably has to at this stage. They're all together waiting for that ball. The referee looks for a bit of law and order inside. Colin Callan waits to take the free. What's he going to do? But I'm trying to keep the goal at bay. Kinvara looking for a goal to get them back into it. We have 28.40 on the clock. 28.41 and here comes Cullum Canlon. Former All-Star. Goalkeeper extraordinaire. Stands over the 65. Lobs it in. Low trajectory in towards the goal. Who's going to get a thick ball? But it's gone out from the 65. It's hit. A Ballandarian hurdle. And according to the umpire, it's gone from the 65. So... What's going to happen here? Referee consults the umpire to give a definite heads up on it. What's going to happen? Decision about to be made. Will it be overturned? As it stands, we've a 65 to convert. Ballandarian stand on the cusp of a big win for their club. Yes, 65 has been granted. Seven points ahead, Ballandarian. Colin Callan with the uh, 65. Looks for an option. Bends, lifts, strikes, lobs it in towards the goal. Who's going to get it? No one to get it there, unfortunately. Ball breaks inside, and it's going to be a free in. A free in to Kinvara. Think you would think they have to go low here. Time is running away from the Kinvara man, sponsored by the Pierhead. Kinvara keeping their goal at bay. They have five men on the goal line as Connor Whelan stands over this ball. His side need a goal. We have 29.50 on the clock. Connor's going to go low. He's standing back five, six yards from the ball. He's sliding the goal. A star from last year in Galway down to the years. Whelan bends, lifts and strikes. Low trajectory. Goal for Kinvara! Goal for Conor Whelan! Big moment again for Kinvara. Back to a four point ball game. As the clock tips, ticks into uh, additional time. 30 minutes, 15 seconds on the clock. We have five minutes additional time. According to the, the clock letter here. So, game's not over by any means yet. Kelly hits the ball out towards the goal. Kinvara. Will they resurrect this game after all? Ballandarian need a score to keep their noses in front. 
Birmingham with the ball, O'Hara breaks the ball to the wing back, the wing back is James Cunn Rogers, plays the ball down in front of here. Two, uh, the substitute there for, for Canberra, Man, come in there now. Sorry, the, the left corner forward, the left corner forward was tackled. He is uh, Barry Britton, Connor wheeling the ball, Connor with all of it, goal, goal, goal of Hurling Star, he's challenged, he's challenged unfairly, says the referee, by Robbie Lane. So, we have a four point ball game. Connor Whelan is single handedly trying to get his club back into this game. They trail by four points. Connor Whelan stands over this free. This to bring them back to three points. 31 11 on the clock. What's going to happen? Whelan bends, lifts, and hits it wide. He's hit it wide. A wide ball from Connor Whelan. Big moment there. He had a chance to put it back to three. No joy for Connor. Kelly with the puck out. He's going to take his time, no doubt. His side know what's in front of them. There are four points to the good. 31 and a half minutes played. We are in injury time in Kenny Park and Athen Ryan as Michael Kelly hits his ball out towards the uh, half forward line. The minor from Astro Prendergast. Good possession, Prendergast. Nice little check back inside. He played a low smart ball. A lovely smart ball to Shane Larkin. Larkin travels with the ball. Larkin in towards the goal. Shane Larkin, another smart ball to Doc O'Connor. Doc goes for it. Fails to get it. Sorry, should I say the, the substitute. And Meehan. The ball breaks away. Colin Cannon about to clear his lines. Cannon plays the, the ball to the fullback. The fullback is Shane Byrne. Shane Byrne travels here the right hand side. And Shane Byrne drives the ball down towards uh, Tom O'Donovan. Tom goes to go and challenge by the fullback. The fullback is uh, Sean Collins. Collins challenge two. It's a free. A free for Ballandarine. Big moment there again. Great defensive play by that man, Sean Collins. Great play. Could be the winning of this game for Ballandarine. So we have 32 minutes, 21 seconds played on the clock. We are in injury time. Kinvara by four points. Sorry, should I say Ballandarine by four points. And that man, Roy Lane, stands over this free. He's right on the 65 meter line in Kenny Park and Athen Rye. What's he going to do with it? Rise test back. Crowd giving all about the distance back. Here comes Lane. He bends, he lifts, and he strikes. He's going to travel to the right. All the way to the right, and it's gone to the right and wide. So, wide for Ballandorine. They lead by four. 30, nearly 33 minutes played. The ball out towards the half forward. And who's going to get it? It's going to be a Kinvara ball. No, it's not. It's going to be challenged again. But Kinvara working hard to get back into the game. We have a ball that's gone to ground. It's going to be a throw ball. Referee deems it a throw ball. We're in the final stages here. As Ballandorine are on the cusp of a big win in their title aspirations. They lead by four points. The ball thrown in. And it's a 50-50 ball. Who's going to get it? We don't know who's going to get it. Since we got for the wing back. The wing back is uh, that man, uh, James Conor Rogers. Plays the ball down here towards Conor Wheel. Conor goes to ground. Lovely pick up from Conor Wheel. Travelling on his right hand side. He's going to take on Robbie Lane. He throws back inside the left hand side. Plays the ball to his left. In towards that corner forward position. On the right corner back there for uh, Brendan Burke. Brendan Burke's half to defend it. Well done, Brendan Burke. Great bit of play for Brendan Burke. And comes out and drives the ball on his right hand side. All over the sideline. Good intervention there from Brendan Burke as the cries for the final whistle have been shouted aloud in Kenny Park. We have 33 53 on the clock. Ballandere by four points. And it's a sideline cut. Between the 14 21 yard line, the left hand side is taken by the corner forward. In towards the uh, the uh, Shane Birmingham. Birmingham has dropped a bit deep. Lovely bit of play from Birmingham to Doc O'Connor. Dave Doc O'Connor is going to travel. He gives that hand pass back to uh, that man again. That man is uh, Sean, or should I say, Luke Prendergast, the minor from Nashville. He's travelling. Lovely heart of this young fella. Luke was challenged, was challenged um, by two Kinvara men. They come again, Kinvara. They haven't given up yet, Kinvara. Rezo team. Here come Kinvara taking the ground. It's going to be a free. You would have to think, bro. A bit of nasty is going on here. We just hope there'll be some decorum before this final whistle. Ballandarian by four. The clock is ticking towards 35 minutes. 34 42 to be exact. We're waiting for a free. The referee may have to intervene. We shall see. So it's going to be a. It was a foul. Barham have been spoken to by the Rachel. As the rain starts again in Kenny Park. He's given us a red card. A red card for the Kinbarman. The number seven. So right at the finish. Right at the depth. A red card for the Kinbarman. So Kinbar down to 14 men as we wait for the next possession, next attack. Here comes the Kinbar on the attack. They're not going to go up. 
quick by any means. Lovely tackle there. Here, there, here comes the fullback. The fullback is uh, Shane, Shane Burr in towards the goal. Shane Burr, ball in, well kept by Tom. Captain's got the shot from Tom in high and over the bar. Yeah, good point there from Tom O'Donovan. Got the ball well. Turned around the sixpence and drove it in over the bar. Well and by three points. We are gone past stoppage time. It's 35 48 to be exact. And the puck out is from Michael Kelly. Will the referee blow his whistle? Ballandurine waiting for the final whistle. Is he going to blow it? He has blown his final whistle. There we have it. A win for the men of Ballandurine. They win by three. Ballandurine 215. Kinvara 212. This is Porrick Carr joining you from Kenny Park. Ramina Maggie.